Hello and welcome to my Silky Savage Guide. The fight is only 5 minutes long or a bit more, but it has a couple of mechanics with different permutations. The most important thing is to understand what colors in this fight do. We will talk about that in a second. First, the mouse will always turn her color into yellow, cleaving intercardinals. So remember, yellow means intercardinals. Then, the mouse will cast a knockback that can be avoided completely with a big enough shield. Now, she will color her tail green, always and then spawn three lollipops in a triangle formation. Green lollipops mean donut AoEs. With her tail, she will paint two of the three lollipops into green with cleaves. You have to avoid the cleaves. Which side is safe is based off her animation. If she starts laying down to the right, right will be safe. If she starts laying down to the left, left will be safe. Now, two lollies are green, which is bad, because you can't be in two donuts at the same time, right? So we have to change the color of one of those two. The boss will help us do that with a wild charge. She will always get a blue color tail and wild charge on a party member. Make sure the tank is in front and use the charge to paint one of the two green lollies into blue. If the leftover lolly is yellow, paint over the northern one. If blue is left over, leave the northern one green and sw swap the east or west colored one. As I said, this will always be a blue wild charge, but later in the fight they will be yellow and green too and wild charges always have a little hook to them, except the usual cleaves, of course. Blue, which means cardinal AoEs, by the way, um, will, during the wild charge, freeze you if you are not in motion. So take the wild charge through the correct lollipop, keep moving during it, like jumping or doing left and right steps, and then dodge intercardinal to avoid the cross cleaves. The tank will always get a tank buster here, and the party can move to the remaining green lollipop, which will always be safe with the donut AoE now. Green is donut AoE. Now that we understood all colors, again, blue cardinal cross, yellow intercardinal pizzas, green donut AoE, the rest will become easier. Also, wild charge blue means stay in motion, wild charge yellow means spread after, and green wild charge needs to be anti-knockbacked. Pause here and read through it if, in peace if you need that. Now, the mouse will always get either a green or a blue tail and spawn four lollipops around the arena that will get tethered to a random player, moving it towards that player in the end. The lollipops can spawn either cardinal or intercardinal and the tail can be either green or blue, which leaves us with a couple permutations. If the tail is green, which means you need the middle safe, you have to pull the blue ones away from the middle. The yellow ones you can simply drag to the edges, north, south or east and west. This way you can ensure that the entire middle arena is safe to stand in the donut AoE of the mouse. Then, if the mouse's tail is green, so you need the middle safe again, but the lollipops spawn into cardinal, you drag the yellows out diagonally into the corner and the blues vertically to the edge. This way you leave more than enough space for the stand in the donut AoE and everything will just go off around you. So far, so good. Second, if the mouse's tail is blue and they spawn on cardinals, you drag all of them out to the closest wall. All of them. Then, there will be four safe spots around the yellow lollipop at the wall. If the mouse has a blue tail and the lollipop spawn intercardinally, just drag all of them to the corners to adjust their orientation, and then intercardinally, next to the yellow lollipops, there will be huge pockets to stand in. Slippery Soap is the random tail AoE wild charge that I explained earlier. Green means anti-knockback, into donut AoE, yellow means intercardinal and spread. Now, the mouse will spawn 8 lollipops, and six of them will get washed. Dodge the remaining two and they will disappear. How to dodge should be self-explanatory by now. In case it's not, if it's green and yellow, always be on the green. If it's yellow and blue, always be left and right of the yellow. Blue and green is not possible. Now the tank will get another tank buster on them that they bring to either east or west. The mouse will jump to the tank for the buster. Now the other party members might get a wild charge on them, which they will bring to the opposite side. So 
all the lollies get colored blue. This will always be blue. So make sure to stay in motion and dodge into Cardinal after that. Now there will be an empty column where the first two lollipops exploded. Drag the mouse north or south to that column as her tail will get green again so you need to stay inside of her hitbox while dodging all the other blue lollipops. For the final mechanic, she will always jump to north and four blue lollipops will spawn and tether to a player. Now you drag them either left or right depending on the mouse's animation, just like in the beginning, and then get under her as fast as possible for the green tail donut. This was basically the last mechanic, after this she will just cast another bleed AoE, which she cast throughout the fight, I just didn't mention it, it's just an AoE and you bleed after it, it's no big deal. And she will do one wild charge after the other with different colored tails, which we discussed earlier and happened earlier before as well. If you foregore, green wild charge is a knockback into donut and yellow is into cardinals into spread. She will do this multiple times in a row before enraging. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this early guide was helpful for you all. If you don't want to miss any future guides, make sure to subscribe and have fun dungeoning.